possible to travel from London in the UK to Paris using only an electric scooter? Is it even possible? Well, today I am going to find out. This is the story of how I traveled all the way from the London Eye to the Eiffel Tower using only an electric scooter. In the past few years, e-scooters and electric powered vehicles have taken the world by storm. You see them quite literally everywhere in London from roadmen to businessmen, scooting along, chasing after a cheap and easy alternative to efficient travel through the city. But I have been wondering, how far could I push one of these? The main problem with traveling far on one of these scooters is obviously the range. So for this challenge, I had to get a scooter which had the biggest battery I could possibly find. So today I am going to be using this. This is the Solar P1 Pro. This scooter is an absolute beast of a machine. It gets 50 miles of range and it goes up to 50 miles per hour, yes. 50 miles per hour. Shout out to Solar for sending me this absolute beast. I appreciate it very much. If you guys want to pick one of these up, the link will be in my description. Trust me, this is one of the best purchases I've ever made. But Harry, how are you going to ride 250 miles to Paris when this only has a range of 50 miles? That is a great question. This is a generator. <laughs> I'm going to be going as far as I can on the bike, camping up, charging it via the generator, and this is going to go under my seat and I'm going to strap it on. What do you think? That's a bit mental if you ask me. This is going to be my infinite range glitch. Hopefully it's going to work and hopefully it's going to get me all the way to Paris. Who knows? I don't. Let's pack up and let's go. So armed with myself, my scooter, a generator and some essentials, I am about to set out on a journey from the London Eye to the Eiffel Tower. Let's do this. I'm here right now underneath the London Eye. Next stop, Eiffel Tower. This is day one, mile zero. <sighs> Two hours, 44 minutes for the first stop. Grinstead, wherever Grinstead is. We're gonna camp up, I guess. This is the current site. Not a single person camping here. Fun. <laughs> so I had made it about 30 miles to my first stop, which was about halfway towards the coast. So at this point, I set up my camp and I got ready for an evening in the countryside. I've been here at the campsite for a few hours now and I've actually had a message from a guy who lives very close to where I am and he's saying that I could potentially stay at his house. So it might be good to go to his house, charge my scooter, charge my things and actually sleep in a bed because I've checked the forecast and it's going to rain tonight. So I can't lie, it would be nice to be in the house. So I think I'm going to go and stay at this random guy's house. Um, he seems sweet. So yeah, hopefully he doesn't rob me and molest me. Let's go! What's good, bro? What's good, man? How's it going, bro? <laughs> Yes, James, say hello, bro. <laughs> Thank you for uh, picking me up, my bro. I appreciate this. <laughs> so we are 
are going to James's house. He has very kindly donated a sofa for me to sleep on tonight. <laughs> I just want to reiterate, yes, I'm in a car, but I'm not cheating because this actually takes me backwards a little bit on my journey, which is an issue. But yeah, this does not help me with getting to Paris in any way. Day two, and look at this. It's pure rain. Oh God, not ideal. I actually don't know what I'm gonna do because James has got to go to work and I'm just gonna be stranded. <sighs> okay, might need to go to McDonald's or something and just wait because I'm not riding in this. Miserable. We are back on the road, baby. It is cold and soggy today. It is day two. Shout out to James and his amazing family for hosting me last night. Just goes to show, never underestimate the kindness of strangers. They gave me a bed, they gave me food, they gave me water, and now I'm ready for the next day. So now we've got 25 miles to get to the coast. We're going to New Haven. Let's get it. I've been stopped in my path. So after another two and a half hours and almost 25 miles of scooting, I had almost made it all the way from London to the coast. I'm so close. I'm 10 minutes away from the coast. Woo! I've officially made it to New Haven. It's the sea. I can finally see the sea. Wow. Look at that, baby. <laughs> Look at that. We actually made it. So I had officially made it to the sea. I could practically feel the French vibes just over the horizon. The only thing separating me from France was this big body of water. So all I had to do was book my ferry to cross the channel and I would be one step closer to getting to the Eiffel Tower. This was when I realized that there wasn't another ferry to France until 11 p.m. So pretty much I was gonna be waiting here for a good few hours. And then I met this guy. Hey man, I just come from London on that bad boy. <laughs> <laughs> this is Josh. He lives in a camper van with his girlfriend Lauren and their dog Tubbs. Josh saw my scooter from afar and couldn't help but ask me what I was up to. We ended up having a long conversation and it turns out these guys are some of the kindest and coolest people that I have met. They even offered to charge my scooter and make me dinner. So we ended up all chilling by the sea, having great conversations and eating amazing food whilst I waited for my ferry. My ferry is soon. Guys. Thank you so much for having me. Oh, no I appreciate nice it. Bro, nice to meet you, man. Peace, guys. Good luck with the van life. Thank and yeah, thank you for your hospitality, guys. Peace out, guys. Bye. See you in a bit. I'm back on the road. Now I actually have to get this scooter onto the ferry, which I think is going to be a whole nother mission on its own. Because I actually don't know if they're going to let me on to the ferry with this, but hopefully we get on. If I do, I will see you at sea. I'm being escorted. So, okay, the generator. the generator's got the petrol, but so it's got, got petrol it's, in here. To do there's a petrol in there, but then it's got a huge battery in it, which charges yeah. it up, and then I can go about 50 miles on it. <laughs> I can get up to 50 miles per hour on it. What? Yeah, it's mental. You're missing something. <laughs> this is what you're missing. I know. <laughs> Look, I feel sorry for you guys. I feel sorry, man. I'm going to be chilling. But yeah, we're getting on. Let's do it. sleep on this bench and now I don't even know where I'm going. I have no plan or place to go or place to stay so I'm so tired. <sighs> we have made it to France. Now I gotta work out where I'm sleeping because I have no idea. It's almost 5 a.m. so I could just wait for sunrise but I need sleep. I'm just gonna go to like a field that I can see literally on the coast set up my, my tent and just camp out for the night. So I'll see you guys when I'm there. 
or maybe in the morning. I don't know. I can't read Bob to vlog right now. I've just realized that I don't have my sleeping bag. I literally don't actually have a sleeping bag for dinner. Uh, I'm in some random field. Um, I have no idea where I am. So yeah, I'm going to bed. See you guys in the morning. So it's safe to say that I was not in the best of moods, but I found a spot to camp. I set on my tent and I put my scooter on charge using the generator. Little did I know I would wake up in one of the maddest locations I could imagine. It's about 8 a.m. I've had about two hours sleep maybe. Just having some brekkie. And I'm currently on the side of a cliff, like fully on the side of a cliff. <laughs> So with only three hours sleep, it was time to make the 32 mile journey from the coast to my third stop of the trip at a campsite. The only problem is I didn't have enough time for the scooter to get a full charge. So I was praying and hoping that I would have enough battery to make it. I only have three bars of battery right now. And I have to go 50 kilometers. Keeping your feelings bottled up inside. Head so down dark. for a collision in the night. To really live, you gotta die. Breathe in, breathe out. Hey, come, come, come alive. Breathe in. <laughs> for me guys it's dire times i got one bar i'm literally like just over halfway i charged it all night what is going on and i'm gonna have to put it on a generator and just relax there we have it she's dead completely kaput uh so i seem to be in a little town i'm in a place called neuf chatel and bray not the worst place to be uh stranded She's charging. I'm gonna charge for an hour and then I'm gonna hopefully make it all the way to the campsite. So yeah, I'm just in some random car park in my socks. Oh God. We are back on the roads. I've got three bars now. Hopefully this will get me to the campsite and then I can charge it completely overnight. And then tomorrow we go even further. I've had about four hours sleep in the last 48 hours. So yeah, I can't wait to get to this campsite, have a shower, chill, and then get some sleep and charge up the baby. Right, I'm doing something a bit mad right now. I've actually got the generator running whilst I'm riding it. It was not looking like it was gonna get all the way. This potentially can give me that extra boost to get me to where I need to go. And those are my famous last words. Ugh. Eight kilometers left and she's died again. And I gotta get to the campsite by 7.30, currently 5 p.m. All right, I'm gonna walk it whilst it's charging. Hopefully I can get a decent distance. So there I was, sleep deprived, hungry, unshowered with a dead scooter and eight kilometers left but at least i had my generator right it's gone from bad to worse the generator has now died got no petrol left i'm gonna have to walk and hopefully get there for 7 p.m so yeah we've got to start walking asap five miles at this point i was genuinely thinking to myself why do i put myself through these experiences i was thinking that i wanted to quit and i wanted to give up but there is one thing that we do not do on this channel and that is quit we make the impossible possible we push ourselves to the limit and we see it through and with the sun blaring down on me i decided to push through because we do not give up when times get hard. We're making progress. We're walking for like 40 minutes. I managed to get petrol for the generator. So the baby's charging, still got a long way to go. And I am finished. I've had no sleep. It's so hot out here, I've had no water. But we're pushing through, man. I'm gonna get to this campsite. I deserve it. Oh my God, we actually made it. Look at that. Camping, yes. 
finally I actually made it unreal and I got electric hook up through there scoot is getting a full charge tonight and so are all my batteries most importantly I'm having a shower tonight I'm gonna set up camp yeah have a relaxing evening we made it to the second stop in France it is the next day I don't even know what day it is today I think we're on like day three or four I honestly can't tell you the last 48 hours have been super intense I'm recharged all my things are charged the scooter's charged today we're ready to go ahead to our next stop which is about 40 miles from here I had to get an Airbnb because there's just no campsites from here to Paris so I'm staying at Airbnb tonight recharge my scooter for the final stretch on the last day to Paris and I think we're gonna make it guys when I start these challenges you never know if it's actually gonna be possible I just want to give myself an idea and think is it possible probably not how can I make it work I think this trip is gonna prove it so I'm gonna pack up and we're gonna get on the roads let's go <laughs> Yeah, that, uh, no, that's towards Paris. Jesus, twice that, again I've done it. Really? So wait, you're going to Paris, but you're just using a map? I'm, no phone? Well, I'm, I was going to use my phone, but right. I'm getting no connection. Oh, wow. That way is Paris. Okay. Well, it's like that way. D, D915. But I must have just <laughs> been on it, done a circle and come right oh, back. Oh, man. Okay, I'm just going to stay on this road. Good luck, man. I get, yeah. Good luck, man. Thank you very Have much. Have a good journey. What's your name? Harry. Harry, Louis. Louis, nice, nice to meet you, Louis. Louis. Good luck, man. Don't get lost again. <laughs> that was a cool guy. He got lost. Luckily, I stopped to get my drone and he would have been still lost, but yeah, he's a cool guy, man. Harry, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hello. Hi. Hello. And so 40 miles later and three and a half hours of scooting, I had finally made it to my fourth stop of the trip. This was my last stop before the final stretch all the way to Paris. I checked into my Airbnb, had a shower, got comfy, put my scooter on charge, and then I discovered that my Airbnb hosts were super kind and friendly. So we all ended up having dinner together, chilling, and just having a great evening. morning and i woke up to it absolutely pouring it down thunder rain everything it is not the best day to be going to paris but i need to get to paris today i've been going for like five days now we're sending it in the rain thunder lightning i don't care today we are going to get to paris even if i have to walk say goodbye to the farm and get on the roads <laughs> just crashed oh god went straight on my ass man i must have come up the side a little bit slipped straight up the bikes come under me i've just landed on my ass ah oh, that well up <laughs> starting to feel more and more like I'm in a city. I can feel it. I can feel the city brewing. I'm getting close, man. It was good to be in an actual city and not just in the middle of fucking nowhere. Do you know what? I'd almost be happy to say I'm in Paris now. I mean, look at this. So I was finally entering the outskirts of Paris. I'd pushed through the cold and the rain, but we're still quite a few miles to go and my battery running a little bit short. It was time to make one final stop. Woo. 
made it to the Mackey's, I'm gonna get a quick charge, eat some food, and then we go to the Eiffel Tower, which is 27 kilometers from here. We're closing in, guys, we're closing in. It's officially time to do the last 26 kilometers to the Eiffel Tower. Let's go! I've had my doubts, guys, I can't lie. I did not think this was possible at a few, at a few points. I think today we're gonna prove it. What a journey, man. Okay, I've just seen Paris. I can see the skyscrapers now. There it is, baby. The Paris skyline. I have made it officially to Paris. I have e-scooted to Paris. What the hell, man? Life is testing me right now. I'm literally 11 kilometers from the Eiffel Tower. And look, flat tire. Yeah, I'm just gonna have to go on a flat tire. Not really going up. It's definitely a puncture, but fuck it. I've, I've got to keep going. I don't care. We're running on a flat. We have to make this. We've got to make this. After all this time, I'm not stopping. There's no way. My wheel's squeaking. I'm on one bar of battery and we're 20 minutes away. Am I gonna make it? I actually don't know at this point. I honestly don't know. Oh no. Scooter died. We're five kilometers away. Scooter's dead. Okay, I might have to walk it. I can't lie. I'm not calling it done until I get to the Eiffel Tower. If you guys don't like this video, man. Christ. And there she is. The Eiffel Tower. And there we go. I'm here. I'm actually here. Five days, 370 kilometers, all on an e-scooter, and I've done it. I have driven from the London Eye to the Eiffel Tower on this bad boy. Oh, that was so long! You gotta give all you got, gotta give all you got for love. Cause you're here for a moment, you give all you got, gotta give all you got for love. Cause you're here for a moment You give all you got Give all you got for love Trust me guys, you can do literally anything that you put your mind to There's nothing you can't do Just take that first step, make it happen This year on my channel guys, we're taking it to the next level Please, if you enjoyed this video, subscribe Drop a like, drop a comment Engage as much as you can, it helps you so much in the algorithm 20,000 likes, I'm riding a moped from London to Africa I love you, I do this all for you guys Peace out Gotta give all you got for love Cause you're here